Hi everyone, this is Jyoti Swaroop here. So uh, we are going to start up and understand uh, the e-commerce that 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 is uh, nowadays trending very much, and uh, how you are going to benefit that thing, right? Uh, before that, uh, going on there, I, I, I can see little bit uh, participants are there around oops, seven to eight participants. Just want to understand who has a grip over e-commerce. You can just type on the on your chat box. So I can understand uh, what all understanding you have about e-commerce designs, WordPress streams, or something like that. Is does everybody has uh, any small idea about this thing? So you you, you, you can just uh, use the chat box and just share that thing with me. Any idea, or you know something about WordPress themes or or design themes, or what you would like to understand. Just two minutes of yours, and you can just type in that message on the chat box. That would actually help me to make you understand better. Is everybody there? I think Dave, Mahek, Hasmuk, Sunil Patel, Vijay Chauhan. Anybody? Okay, anybody has an idea uh, about it? Okay, uh, I think no one. Okay, so I I'm just I'm just going to repeat one of my question again, right? So I just want to have a small understanding from the audience. Who anybody has any idea about you know, how should the store design or? What problems you are actually facing currently? If if anybody has a uh, has a e-commerce store, if anybody has is already facing so much problems, if they can tell small things in a in a very brief manner, it would actually help me to understand you better because you are facing problems. So that we will inculcate all the resolution or all the the solution to this in this small webinar, so that you also get a good output. So anybody is working or is planning or what do you have any idea or any, any knowledge? You can just type on the chat box before we actually start the webinar. Um, not... Can I just interrupt here? I'm just getting a message from someone. I think they are sending to me privately. Okay. Um, I think I've got this uh, message here. The hosting problem that Vijay faced. And the second okay. question is to uh, from... Vijay also that the site is taking too much time to load and how the whole thing should manage. Okay. Okay. So the, see, uh, the hosting effect, if you talk or uh, talk about, uh, okay, you're having a problem with the hosting for the hosting problem. You need to, uh, speak to the people. For example, if you're taken from big rock, if you're taking from GoDaddy, so either the problem is that if the basic background, uh, the package might be low, right? Or uh, either, uh, first of all, whenever you are uh, doing a migration of the website or you're preparing the website or you've taken the hosting serv services, choose the service provider very carefully. Uh, sometimes the big rock creates a, 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 a very erratic problems. Generally, they are not, a, they are generally create problem with the DMS, it's called database management system. So they create problems, they, they don't cooperate well. So if I talk, if I talk about something like Namecheap, something like Hostgator, something like GoDaddy, GoDaddy is a little expensive. Namecheap, Namecheap.com and Hostgator.com, they are generally pretty much helpful. Even though when you're facing any problem, you drop an email, you get an email, they will take you into a team viewer or a Zoom con call and they'll make you understand that that is very much there. Second thing, site is taking too much time to load and how whole thing should manage, okay? Okay, this I'll this question I'll take uh, when we go through the complete pre presentation. So this is a valid, valid question that most of the people face, right? So let's start with the uh, presentation. Okay, so first a small introduction about Nine E-commerce. It's, it's, it's generally an e-commerce store for designing and uh, it's a, you know, they generally design and they develop the complete e-commerce store from end to end solution, from scratch to the implementation level and to the promoting level, you know, both from emerging from traditional and emerging e te technologies. So services uh, that 9e-commerce generally provides is like process and infrastructure, 
a set up e-commerce migration even though you have website uh, or or to any other platform something like magento and you want to migrate to wordpress so even that part also e9 e-commerce helps helps them out so custom e-commerce website development every organization has different uh, needs uh, as compared to their uh, you know, business needs or business requirements or customers clients or i'm so sorry customer clients or uh, depending on the geographic location so customer you can make it customer and they'll actually help you out open source cust- uh, e-commerce customization so open source is something like if you have a, uh, if you are looking for you know for open source profiling so they can also help you out, uh, out with that b2b business to business and uh, b2c uh, and b2c like for example something like mintra.com or b2b is something like you are jungle steel so they generally don't deal with the uh, typical consumers just like us. so it's like company to company or organization to organization so that kind of services that nine e-commerce or white uh, kind of white array of services that they offer right so first of all uh, building an online store it is exciting but it is uh, for most of the people it is scary and they think that it is too technical it is too too technical because they think the moment they uh, they publish it is view, it is being viewed by the complete world people can do and they can make perception about that you your business is not doing well or you're not able to manage your website that is actually to a certain point true if i talk about practically so before going into that mess or before even giving a wrong perception or wrong picture about your your own business make sure that uh, uh, all the things that your website should face should be very clear should be very crisp what is your focus if you are even though planning a landing page where the visitor should come what should be your home page what should be your loading time what should be your website speed everything even though you are giving a subscription email letters or newsletter where should the, uh, the consumer go and click where should be the uh, the uh, C- cta should be click through action or where should the consumers or visit website visitors should go and take an action action means where do you want the visitor to click where do you want a visitor to go so those things are fundamental things should be very clear right so we'll go with this now first of all choosing a wrong thing uh, wrong team wrong a wrong team as in it says uh, don't make a mistake of choosing a simply it looks good on the other side instead something like it should fit into your online store a parallel online store or a shoes online store or a watch online store are completely different why i'm giving you a very 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 general uh, idea because that is how you can relate very well because an online store uh, is something where uh, your images has to be very very high different high definition images right so for apparel sometimes nowadays based on artificial artificial intelligence technology uh, you need to show people how uh, the person is actually looking something like for example if you go to mintra.com right so if you are choosing any apparel or even though any shoes they have they are uploading videos how the person is actually looking they are creating a small kind of a, a 15 to 20 second gif how the person is looking focusing the camera angle on the shoes or camera angle on the apparel so that is that uh, detailing they actually go so for example and something uh, if if i if i talk if i talk about kids ga- a kids garment so that thing will be completely different something who is into health and nutrition will be completely different something who is into cooking right uh, cooking or nutrition food or giving lots of tips or blog the the theme is completely different do not try to copy that or just simply put because it is looking good of course you need to see that the website has to be vibrant but it should also help your uh, the business organization or the website or the product or services a good push so make sure the theme which you choose should be very carefully right and you should not change it regularly 
So once you choose a theme, first of all, see how the preview will be. Before publishing, have a preview. Because a word, if you go to WordPress, they give you an option for preview. So even though if you go to any other platform, they'll give an option to first preview in your own, or own local server. So they'll, they'll actually show you how your website will look like. Show them to two or three people or to your friends how it is actually looking. And then only go ahead with the thing. So make sure, uh, do not choose a wrong thing. It should be appropriate based on your business. Very important. People think that if, if I'm in a consulting business, the consulting business, uh, the digital marketing consulting is absolutely the same as to go, uh, going for the background verification consulting or recruitment consulting or something like IT consulting. So both are different. The three industries are absolutely different. So that depends on what kind of platform or what kind of work or theme you would like to choose. Then you have something like plugins. People make a mistake that they install a lot of plugins just to push their website faster. First of all, research on the plugins, something like Yoast SEO, something like WooCommerce that are mandatory, not kind of mandatory, but recommended. That will actually help you out. Something like uh, WP Forms, right? Something like uh, social media icons or uh, Something like uh, you know, a, a pop-up ads, if, if you want to give up. Some, something like you are looking for uh, basically something, uh, for, for a example, there are WordPress theme that gets updated. So then you have plugin for that. So research well. Do not implement altogether 18 to 20 things because it generally uh, you know, decreases your speed of your website. So make sure whatever uh, plugins you are actually using for your WordPress theme, it actually helps you out. Do not keep unnecessary plugins just to make sure that somebody has told you. So do a very deep research. Keep maximum around nine to ten. Very deeply re uh, no, researched. Well, do a good research on the plugins. How it is going to help your own website? Something like Yoast SEO, right? So SEO, uh, it does not tells you that the moment you install that plugin, automatically your SEO will be done. No, it is not like that. Many people have that perception. They, they tell that, yeah, I have no, I installed you with SEO, but it's not helping or helping me out. For SEO to be implemented on your website, you need to implement those and the SEO, your SEO pl uh, plugin will actually make, will give you a, a, a very, very brief picture how will the title tag look like? How will the description of the particular link look like on the search engine, right? So if, if you are crossing the number of characters, how it will look like if you are there within the character limit, for example, 165 characters or the title tag is over, which is of 90 characters. Title tag is the name of the particular uh, link, if you see that. So that is under the character that will show you a small picture, how it will look like, right? For example, if you're putting keywords and if you're do, doing a lot of keyword stuffing and in, into it. So that plugin will actually tell you you are using too many keywords, reduce the volume of your keywords, sometimes keyword density. So keyword density is, is like uh, utilization of your keyword. I'm just telling you about some stuff about uh, some plugins, which which actually helps you out. So people think using lots of keywords just within my platform, it will help to improve my SEO. No, it does not at all. It does not, that's a part of SEO. You got to do a lot of technical stuff. You got to you know, speak to consultants who can actually help you on that. The plugin gives you a small kind of picture, a small kind of uh, image that how your link or how your search or how your content will actually look like on search engine. So search engine is not only Google, search engine is also for uh, Bing, search engine is also for Yahoo. There are many lot search engines, right? So that gives you a small picture. Okay, somebody just send me a chat for that. Okay. So that's the first thing, right? So complicated, Time consuming checkout process. So according to a study, having a complicated and long checkout process is the third most common reason why customers leave your site. 
this can cause prospects to abandon your site and directly impacts your con uh, conversions it is actually true it is psychologically true right that that's why you got to make sure once a visitor has chosen your product so you can make easily in such a steps if i talk about less than 30 seconds try it out less than 30 seconds make it easy the more you pamper the uh, website visitor the more happy they are right so display clear cost the cost of shipping taxes make sure they don't go and calculate within the within that calculator so that will of course make them more harsh or you will be more harsh on that because they have to take extra pain to take out the calculator how much the tax will be what the shipping cost will be how much time it will take when it will take nowadays people are also organizations are giving an approximate time that you're booking a shipment today at 11 o'clock and it will reach tomorrow at 12 pm or 12:15 so they even try to deliver before 12:15 right so if i talk about amazon so uh, most of you might be using amazon so they tell you you know 3 to 4 days but they deliver within 2 days so they tell you the maximum time which they would be delivering but they deliver within their maximum time period that is uh, turn around time right go for a single page checkout process gives more conversions do not make them go to the next tab then submit list go to the next tab no just within that single screen i'm talk about just a single screen so within that single screen all the process all the things should be very much clear right so uh, i'll tell you one thing right so even though you are having a a very clear checkout process most of the e-commerce uh, you know, conversions that gets lost in the in the last moment even though the person has an uh, ups you know, uh, was he just received the otp and he stops the transaction most of the people they generally go and just do a research how much it will uh, charge me and how much this product will charge me inclusive of taxes and inclusive of shipping so they are people like that right you you cannot deny you don't know the front person who is the who is that you really don't know who the website visitor is what is their behavior what is their process what do they think what are they thinking about the product the latter product they purchased it and that's it so somehow we got we have to first of all make sure the complete transaction process is within a single page the person should not scroll down they should not take an uh, effect on their fingers to cross on they should not scroll it should be there in a single screen within that single screen make sure some the moment somebody clicks on the checkout they should land in a page land in a page or single screen so within the single screen the product if they want to increase the quantity make sure they have the option to increase the quantity if they want or uh, if they want to add on uh, additional products make sure you give that option to give the product so that the more the price the more the conversion would be the moment they add in the products make sure the how much the tax calculation the automatic tax calculation should be available on the single screen automatic tax tax calculation for example if you are charging 18% i'm just I'm, i'm just giving a small example if you are charging 18%, 18% gst on a product called 186 rupees right but if somebody uh, puts up two products two quantity so it doubles up so automatically the calculation to change right it should not that once you click submit and then you will go no make sure the moment there is a flip or there is a movement in the uh, in the transaction on the quantity or the sale volume the automatic transactions on the display of the price which is the only reason the consumer is actually buying so make sure end of the day money matters a lot even for you for our for the customer to so make sure that display of that price is actually very very clear the shipping right first the taxes then shipping and the time to deliver the time to deliver and through which area or through which process or through uh, which city it is, it is coming make sure if it is viable for you to make to make it very clear it will be helpful the more transparent you are to your consumer they are more happy right so make sure the checkout time process should not be complicated at all 
pamper them at that time because that is the time the consumer has made their mind to purchase the product. If you irritate the person that time, he will never come back to your side. And I always tell you, give a very bad word of mouth saying that, no, it is taking a lot of time for me. It might take a lot of time for you as well. So do not go there. You might give an option to a faster checkout process where it is easy for me, right? Then next. Complex navigation. Okay. So, uh, navigation is something that uh, e-commerce website has a, has a huge number of products. Right? It's it's a huge website. So, if you if I'm looking if I land up on a, on Mintra and I'm looking for a compressor socks. Compressor socks is generally being used for uh, for the people who are in into athletics or CrossFit athletics. There, there, there are a combination of uh, 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 CrossFit, uh, bodybuilding, and plus athletics. So those people use it. For example, I'm looking for that compressor socks, right? So I landed up on Mintra, just want to have a small, small search how it will cost. My main thing, variety, color, comfort, and the price. The, my first priority would be the price. So make sure it is there, right? So your e-commerce website should be a good collaboration of functionality and design, right? So not only it does look good, but also helps users to convert functionality and design. So like, for example, if, if I go to uh, Mintra, why I'm taking an example of Mintra, you might be wondering because they are more friendly. They're more friendly. You don't have to take an extra pain to go or search or look out for any other products. Right, functionality as in for functionality a basis. If I'm look, if my budget is not more than two thousand rupees, I just need to click on the left side and I just click that. So I don't have to go on back page or forward page. No, it is there on the same tab left side. I just want to go and click below rupees two thousand. If I'm not getting, they have given me a search tab, right? So I just need to go and click, and the products are there on with you. Right. Also, when when I'm a uh, uh, third functionality feature, which most of the websites is not only Mintra habit, most of the, of the websites have. It's like the moment I I scroll down my cursor to that particular product, they show me the features of the product. For example, there will be a movement on, on the particular image, showing the uh, the different sides of the particular socks. Or if somebody is wearing it, if some somebody is, is playing wearing that socks, so it will give me an imagination into a consumer's mind. And if I wear this, I'll be comfortable, right? Then come this. This is the, I'm talking about on the basis of functionality, and this is very very important, very very important, right? So if I'm looking for a Nike, give them also a option for Adidas sneakers or any other Skechers or anything. Give them an option so that you are pampering them like anything, right? So these are the functionality basis. Then if I talk about design, so do not keep it black and white. Make it colorful, made, uh, not very colorful, something like Govinda style, not, not necessary, but something like uh, very vibrant, very clear, very transparent, right? So that it actually suits up and it does not pinches the eyes of the consumer. It's, it's more friendly. The more pain the eyes go through, they'll reduce the, uh, the time. The, no, they will reduce the time spent on your website because they are they're having a pain on the website. Imagine you're going to a website where it's completely red. It's completely green. It's completely dull colors. Will you, will you not avoid it? Because it is giving pain to your eyes. So in, in comparison, you'll go to a website for a health website. Right. So of course the colors are so vibrant, so clear, so transparent, you are not having any pain. Your eyes, your eyes do not fluctuate like anything. So this is a very minute detail that everybody, uh, all the business owners and the other the team needs to be aware of. Right. Then if you have a website navigation uses confusing terms, if your content is hard to find, and if certain features are not working properly, of course. Uh, I would be frustrated, you'd be frustrated, 
if i go to amazon if i'm not able to uh, uh, search for any of the product i'll search once i'll search twice third time i'll leave the website i'll open up a new tab and look out for that particular product so uh, make sure you're using the keywords you're using the product description very clear so that immediately it is searchable and comes on the top of the search within that e-commerce search your own website so right so to avoid this work with the us expert user experience expert to optimize a website for smooth navigation and enjoyable user experience make sure the most the better the good smooth experience i'm talking about smooth smooth includes everything functionality design uh, comfort responsiveness everything the if the consumer is having a smooth experience within your website he or she will be a uh, definitely a returning visitor returning visitor and then they come back to your website to buy and buy of course the other marketing mix also involve but this is i'm talking about the base the fun base on this is the base part which you will give a benefit to them so this will help you find the information they are looking for faster which means more sales to you right so uh, some uh, some website or for example if i have purchased uh other than e commerce or t shirt uh, i am looking for a trouser i am looking for running shoes they will also give me an option just if if you go to amazon the moment you buy right so they will also give you an option an add on products so give that option as well because that might click with the consumer that might not click but there are 5 to 10 percent chances are there that that things click and the on the the value of the conversion uh, sale increases right if the product cost is a, is is around 1500 rupees the add on product will be around 300 rupees so for you it's a benefit of just keeping that an you know, add on product next to the product so it actually helps right okay so we'll go for that now now poor search sort of filter options but not a lot of shoppers are aware of what they are searching for really not i i am i absolutely absolutely agree with that they are they don't know what they want they don't know what they want very few people very few people there uh, for example some uh, uh, uh sometimes on 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 weekends if if i'm looking for an app or i'm looking i really don't know what to buy i am just there just like do, doing a window shopping on a, on an e-commerce website it happens a lot of time it might have happened with you it might have happened with many other people right even though my when my father just go and scrolls down on the website he just searches and he I do an impulsive shopping there only impulsive impulsive shopping as in if he does not require that thing as well he purchases it because he think it might be useful it might be is not required but it might be but another that that might be is a good thing for your own e-commerce site right so therefore there are things you need to take care your product display should be enticing enough to hold their attention very much important having an attractive product with a big buy now button will not cut it right so a uh, buy now or discounted coupons right uh, showing them the moment uh, you take the cursor there there's a movement of the particular uh, image uh, don't make them uh, turn that uh, they need to click on the different angles of the particular product make them give them an automatic version of that right uh, or automatic version if if i would like to say that for example you are not you just landed on the product page Right. For for example, you're looking for a. Uh, let me make give you a small example for washing machine, right? You're looking for a fully automatic washing machine, something like from LG or Whirlpool or wherever it is. You landed on the particular product, right? So just imagine, for example, just imagine, uh, you land landed on a washing machine product page, and they it has an option for. different angles on the left hand side around eight images for different angles and last class you have a video right but in most of even if you go to amazon you need to take an effort to go there and then see different angles of it 
But for example, if somebody gives an option of, right, the moment you landed on the page, right, you clicked on in within five seconds, you will sh- uh, a video will appear or kind of a small 15 second or 20 second video will appear about the product usability or the features of the product. Automatically, the washing machine is moving up. How do you use it? All the features of the product has been displayed into that automatic video. And then if you want it, then you click on the bar. So don't you think that will convert, that will have more chances of conversion? It will always, because you are giving an extra hand to uh, make that uh, visitor buy the product, right? So you should do your part in helping shoppers find what they're looking without much trouble at all. Much trouble. To not trouble is something like very negative word for your for your website. If it is not there, there are next time he or she might not even return. Might not return. So whatever you are promising to give them, always make sure it is available and it is searchable on your website. You should have accomplished by categorizing those products, right? Letting visitors sort and filter through them. A search bar could help you a lot as well. As I told you, search bar always helps you that. Always. Okay, poor customer service. Okay, oh, yeah. bad customer service is thought about three times more than a good service. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a human behavior. You do uh, good things 99 times, but one big mistake or one smallest mistake that becomes heavier than 99% of the good things done by you. That, that's human behavior, right? So uh, your web, web design holds the key when it comes to your finding customer support. And your website support system must be positive and in line with your website design. Several e-commerce sites also provide live chat features, a chat box message. Uh, chatbot technology helps you uh, in order to at least gain that contact details of the customer or a consumer or a visitor. So uh, implement those, it will actually help you. You don't need to uh, make sit someone. Okay, now uh, this thing, uh, I'll, I'll give you a small, small example. I one of my friend is having an e-commerce website. So I, 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 I'm so sorry, I will not be able to tell his name. So uh, both of the both of one of my one is my boss my previous boss and one is one is my friend so my manager my the boss what his uh, organization is actually doing they have around 15 to 20 uh, no csr the customer service representatives right but in comparison the same product line my friend is having only five customer services customer service representatives because he wanted in he what he did he implemented chatbot technology so the chatbot technology what happened the moment uh, you as a person don't have to sit and chat with the person right you have a pre-settled questions that consumer might ask and the chatbot te- te- technology takes out your information first right your name your number or your, e- or your email id the moment that is received the backend team gets that and he or she calls you back. So in what happens that, first of all, you got a contact details of the customer, then you actually go and speak to them. So that's, that becomes very important. So two positive, positive, two positive things happened. First of all, uh, you were able to answer back to the consumer immediately. Then you, somebody from your team is calling them back immediately when they're or when they would like to get back to them, to the consumer or the visitor, that if you're looking all for a product or what do you want? So all that uh, human touch is actually there. Of course, that investment point of view, only five, and where the my boss is having on 15 to 20 people, the investment in the customer services, they save a lot. So if you're uh, investing on 15 people, but if you have only five and they're making use of that chatbot technology, it's an advantageous part on usage of technology. So that is how it happens, right? So make sure that your customer service is always part. 
right? So chatbot message helps you out. Whenever customers enter, they are stuck with something they know how to get in touch with you immediately, immediately, right? For example, if you talk to Airtel people, right? It sometimes, or if you talk to any other bank, it takes a lot of time to reach to a customer service. Sometimes, even though I get irritated that it's been 20 minutes, I'm not able to speak to one other person. So people feel bad and people feel frustrated with the customer service representatives or the service given by them. So that is how it is that matters. Quality image. As I told you, I think I'm at the beginning of that thing. Quality image, the great driving force for any e-commerce site is attractive, high definition product photos. Images can help them discern the quality of your products. You'll have to keep high quality images on your website with better consideration over lighting, product background, and photo editing. So uh, sometimes it actually what, what happens. So first of all, you, if you're having a product-based based business, of course, e-commerce is that. So nowadays they they are coming. There there's a small setup coming up, right? So uh, you just need to buy that setup to a Take a very small space, just like a table. Put your products in, into that particular lightning clamp, something like that, and shoot your products. So without any uh, no heavy investment, you're getting a good product images. So uh, usage of high definition products, and even though if somebody is trying to pixelate it, if I'm trying to zoom in, there is no, there should not be any pixelization. So the pixel should not get tightened up, should not get toned up, nothing at all. The more, uh, if anybody is pixelating it, it, they are zooming in, they should never ever should get pixelated. So make sure that you have a very high definition quality image because that costs a lot, but you have to do that. So make sure that you are also using magnifying feature on your product, product image. And that way customers have the option to enlarge the photo and see can you the tiny details, tiny, tiny, because 50% of the, of, the, of the products, of the consumers, they are interested in checking out the basic tiniest feature of the product. It happens. Like one, one of my friends, she uh, does a lot of uh, uh, e-commerce shopping almost every month. So she knows if and buts of e-commerce everything when it comes to buying products. So discounts, images, everything. She checks out the detail of the products very well. So if that is not there, she'll leave the website completely at all for you, right? Then we'll go for the next one. Not being mobile friendly. Okay, now this uh, is another one of the most another important feature where people miss out and they leave, they leave and they think, okay, why my uh, website, the visitors are not coming up. Online shopping gives you the convenience of buying items in the comfort of your home. Com nowadays, comfort of your fingers. It was home, now it should be of your phone. Because most of the people have that, uh, you know, uh, op uh, have smartphones. Everybody who is opening, uh, first of all, if you're having an e-commerce, right? Even though you you have a website that should be mobile friendly, that should run on AMP. Some AMP is a concept called accelerated mobile page. So whenever you're making an e-commerce web website, now your first option should be that it should be mobile friendly and then desktop friendly. So a uh, small pretty much of advice from our SEO perspective, it should be first mobile friendly and then desktop and then make sure your website is uh, enough uh, friendly in all the devices. So there's a, there's a concept called responsive websites. So where responsive websites are those websites, whenever you open a website, it adjusted the size, the dimensions of the website according to the uh, dimensions of the device. So Everybody is not using Mac. Everybody is not using Dell 13 inches, right? So everybody had different, different, different devices. Some people uh, have a smartphone of iPhone. Some, some have OnePlus, some have Samsung, 
some have uh, lava, something like that. I'm talking on oh, no, different perspectives. Somebody is using a desktop, so desktop can be of different uh, different sizes. So always make sure that your website is a responsive website and it opens up uh, in a very exact dimensions according to the screen size of the device. There should be no pixelization. It should be mobile friendly. So opt for a responsive website when you're going. So the lighter the website it is, the better it is good for your sales. So next part. The biggest mistake brands make is designing layouts and content for desktop and then trying to scale them down for smaller skin sizes. Yes, this is not going to create an intuitive experience on mobile. Instead, you need to create content with all devices in mind, considering the needs and limitations of these devices from the very beginning. Of course, when you're using a desktop, so uh, uh, the content is, of course, you, you can see the good content. But if you're using uh, smartphones, right? So the same content gets so smaller and you're not able to view, you again need to pixelate it, right? So we're gonna make sure that the same content is completely very clearly visible on your smartphone. So make sure that your choices be consistent, highly optimal experience across each device, as I told you. So uh, my advice is, again, I'm telling you, if you're making an e-commerce website, first of all, it should be first mobile friendly based on AMP, right? Try to use schema markups. It actually help you, helps you out. Then go for a desktop version. If you're hiring or making anyone responsible for designing and part, make or tell him or her to make a responsive website. So responsive AMP, it covers everything. Whether you're putting, and always make sure that uh, whenever you are, implementing images it should be optimized first always optimized so even though you are using uh, optimize in terms of seo optimize on the reducing the image size without even touching the part of a pixelization so reducing the size of the website it will help you out to increase this uh, website loading speed and also make sure that, that the images are clearly visible and that same image is searchable on your website as well and on Google search as well. So uh, every image has the title tag, description tag, anchor text and keywords. So optimization is very important on, the, on those uh, perspectives. Slow page loading time. Okay, why uh, slow is one of the major reasons of why I have abandoned your cards. Simply put up, slow will learn and benefit the online sales very much. It does, it does a lot. Uh, there are certain things that we need to consider that uh, why there is slow page loading time. First of all, <laughs> remove the, the JavaScript. It is, it is important. Java takes a lot of time to um, upload and reload everything. The moment you reload it or refresh it, again, it will take time, right? Then C three C validation time. So I'm talking about a little technical, so remove those things, right? Optimize the images of equal sizes. Do not once one image is of uh, two, 33 KB, another is of 10 MB. Do not reduce the size, compress the size of the images. There is no harm. Right, optimize the uh, images very clearly with SEO techniques. It is important. It is very important, right? And then use uh, all title tags, description tags, all those things are very, very important, right? W3C val 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 validation should be good. It should not go beyond that or should not be reduced. So these are the small, small technical things that you need to uh, give instructions to your developer who is developing your website. And if, even though if you are not if you are in coordination with nine e-commerce, of course they'll take uh, they'll take good insight of this and then they'll only help you. So nine e-commerce does a good job in it. Right. So as per the current scenario, many users, as I told you, are using their smartphones when browsing the internet. That's why there's a really a need of e-commerce site to mobile friendly. Otherwise, because 
60 to 70 percent of the buyers are direct they are using it through your smartphones if it's not mobile response design as i told you it's a necessity for a majority of e-commerce stores in order to provide a better using experience so no, uh, you can use Google's mobile friendly test tool to check whether your site is mobile friendly or not. There are many websites. There are many websites, many, many websites. So let me just, uh, okay, let me just show you. Um, So something like something like this uh if i see for example if i check out this so i'm in the page speed in uh, inside so i've just clicked on one of the websites and I'm just trying to analyze it, how it will help you out. So I'm there, I'm just analyzing it. So this, this is one of the websites I just tried to pick it up and it will give me an immediate result. And it, it, it's a free of cost tool. They, you're not doing, you're not paying anything, right? See, it will tell you everything. Street index, last contest, total block, blocking time, Time to interact 5.7 seconds, it is less. It should be less than three seconds, right? Now see this. Serve images in next gen information, efficiently encode images, properly size images. As I told you, remove a new JavaScript. Initial response time, you need to speak to a developer for this thing, render blocking sources. So all these things, it is, it is very much available free of cost. So use it and make sure whenever you're trying to no, implement your website. So I think somebody who asked me uh, in the in initial time, I, I am not uh, able to remember the person's name. The site is taking too much time to load how, how the whole thing should manage. This will answer your thing. So I just uh, saw the mobile version. So if I click on the desktop also, it will show me. Can you see it is taking 56 seconds and on mobile it's taking 40 seconds so 40 seconds time is too much it is bad for the website very bad for the for the website can you see on the desktop version this is how it is giving an part total size is 363 right? it is too much too much so this is there are a lot many other tools which will also give you that just do a google search and it will actually there so uh let me show you that website loading speed something like gt metrics mm -hmm. So if I do this and I use this and I test your site. So don't worry about test server lo lo location. So it will tell you exactly. So see how much time is it taking for this time. Now, do you have the patience for this? No, I don't have patience to check out uh, so much of time.
now we got this okay let me come on this see top issues properly size images as i told you efficiently encode images it is not encoded so it is on top high priority uh so static images again this it is taking 13.5 second which is too much for a web website to take time if, if it is less than 3 seconds it is good but if it is going beyond that very few people have so much of patience to go for it so make sure that is not happening it will not take time can you see the stages how it is there this is how it is taking now so first two seconds is nothing 1.4 second is nothing to pen so the moment i reach 4.1 second your website should just come up like this 5.4 this is coming 6.8 seconds this thing is lo loading up this thing is loading up and after 13.5 seconds everything up. this is how you got to analyze it okay so i'll be just back to this Okay. Okay. So now this directing traffic to your home page. Most online marketers and website owners direct direct their site traffic to your home page. However, this means that you are redirecting your potential conversions to the wrong page. Conversions happens on the product page. Yes, and not on your home page. Despite having steady traffic. and good number of visitors on your site you would not make conversions see uh, there are two things for a website first is website visitors and then there is something called sale or conversions after a lot of good contents it is it is it become little bit easier little i'm not a little easy to get website traffic but what will you do with those website visitors you put a lot of effort to get those but if out of that 50 for example out of that 50000 visitors if even 10000 or 1000 to 2000 people are not doing not giving good conversions there is no use of it right there is no use of it so you got to make utilize of that 50000 website visitors for that very clearly so either you are your 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 mind should be very clear or your perception should be very clear what i want the uh, no uh, visitors to to do on my website so if somebody is coming and they're landing up uh, the traffic is coming up on should not go directly to your home page unless web is your website is a content based or a blog page so if your e-commerce website land them directly to your product page so that they they the span of time the attention span of time does not get lost it should not go haywire no i am i was planning to do a t-shirt but i got lost in the mobile phone cover so my whatever i thought i had in the mind to buy a t-shirt i lose it and i go and so on mobile phones ultimately i'll not buy anything so there is no use of getting get in that traffic on your website so make sure that you land that particular visitor on the product page which they want to buy once they buy again move them to different product page that is how you should plan that is the uh, recommended idea so it is important to optimize and user friendly design of your product page so that you can redirect search in the users to where conversion can immediately happen so even though uh, somebody is uh, you know uh, coming through search engine most of the traffic comes through that so your product page should be highly optimized on a part of a seo on a part of a design on a part of a functionality on a part of a uh, background Im images on a part of web website loading speed on a part of a time taking to your checkout page everything should be done so right so your cart will appear on the same spot on every page so be very very clear to not let them drive to the home page once they buy it and then next step should be like back to their home page so that they can explore things more things and more they can buy 
Hard to find shopping cart. Uh, browsing through online store, you, you found the item you like, but you came back to check out. You could not find the checkout register. You want to buy, but you don't know where to pay. Do not make them uh, no, uh, roam around just like a zigzag person. Or like a, it, a, it's a kind of a place where you're completely lost in the room. Do not make them do that. Or they will not, they will never can, they cannot find shopping cart on the website and that's, that, that's crazy. That should not be at all. To make it easier for customers to find a cart, you need to implement the following. Three things, right? Shopping cart should be identified with an icon that's easy to recognize. Visibility is very important. And it should be most of the people have done a right hand side because psychologically, the right hand side of most of the people are much more stronger. They see the moment you see first thing, the most of the people see in the right hand side. Left comes after that. Users can users can quickly find the card by searching for the word shopping cart. The card will appear in the same spot on the every page. It should not be like first right hand side top, then it should come down and then the middle of the page or then on the left side. Every time right hand side because that is how it is fixed into their mind or perception. So, right, so uh, the final closing thoughts for your e-commerce business, your website is your, is the only asset. Is the only asset to earn, to get converted. The main source of sales and revenue, if you don't want to turn into a liability in the long run, simply avoid the following mistakes, which we discussed, which we showcased to you and make sure that uh, uh, you are there with that. Uh, all Avoiding all those uh, these mistakes, implement those things, which I just told you. Uh, SEO is very important. Your uh, functionality, your design, and uh, the other part uh, also which which we told you or which I discussed it with you. So if anybody is having any doubts, please let me know. So uh, there are so there are there are people. I think I'll okay, let me just search how many people are there. Um, okay, there are a good number of people today. So Hina. You know, can they, anybody has any doubt, please let me know. Because see, uh, just speaking, speaking and telling everybody is not of a use. So anybody has any, any doubt, please, uh, uh, I request the people who are asking questions, please switch on their video because video gives a little bit open trans, uh, open uh, conversion speaking. Anybody has any doubts, please let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to help you out. I think Jyoti Sarup, I have got a question from Vijay and I've just copied and pasted that to you privately. So you take a look. He's asking about the WordPress or Shopify uh, for his e-commerce website. Okay. Do I have to use WordPress or Shopify for my e-commerce website? So it's up to you. So uh, if you think if you're using WordPress, you have to use a, a plugin called WooCommerce. If you go Shopify, uh, everything is readily available. So you just need to connect. It's like connecting the dots and placing your images, product listing. It becomes easy. So Woo Woo WooCommerce is also good, but uh, it's 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 uh, completely up to you. So whatever you think is good for that, good and easy for you, you can choose it. So there is no hard and fast that you should go for WordPress or Shopify. Shopify gives you an uh, and a kind of a served plate for you. I hope I'm able to resolve your answer or your question. Anybody else? Um, I'm not getting any more questions now. I think uh, we just said thank you. Okay, thanks a lot from Vijay. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, just for a few more minutes, uh, if we if anybody got any questions. Sure, sure. If you are facing any of these challenges out of these uh, described 10 here, uh, you can contact us as well. You know, we would be able to resolve any issues that you have regarding to the images or site feeding or JavaScript or anything, we can provide all of these uh, services, you know, we can resolve all these 10 uh, mistakes, you know, uh, that you might be facing. Right, we just got another question here. I'm just going to copy and paste it. 
Okay. Uh, I'm just here and I've got question from Hina Khan as well. Okay, please tell me some ways to reduce uh, load timing. Okay, reduce load timing is optimize the images very clearly. Reduce the JavaScript because that's the work of. Uh, uh, but just give me a minute. I'll check down here. Right here. Okay. Uh, if I'm uh, if I'm making a website selling only two or three products, why why should why should not website like Shopify? You can do that completely. There is no uh, there is no harm in Hina. If you want to use Shopify, go for it because it's easy. Uh, there is no hard and fast rule that you have to use WordPress or you have to use other platforms as well. You can use it as per your convenience. Uh, Submit to me that we have to reduce load timing. Please tell me some ways to reduce load timing. For reducing the load timing, first of all, uh, make less usage of JavaScript. That's the first. Then optimize the images. Uh, if you're using high definition images, you've got to compress those images and reduce the size of the images, as you might have seen that also. Right? Also, uh, take a better uh, high and bandwidth of your hosting. I'm talking a little on a technical note because that actually helps. So the more uh, band, if you are, for example, if you're taking a 10, 10 GB storage on a hosting, but if you take about 20 GB, it might a little bit expensive. But for a long run, it is good. So make sure that it is there all the time. <clears throat> and uh, try using a, a concept called AMP. It's called Accelerated Mobile Page. It increases the speed of the website. So I hope I'm able to uh, answer you all your questions for that. I think that's it, really. I'm not getting any more questions. Um, wait for another two minutes and then we will close this up. Okay, okay. Okay, um, there's another question from Vijay. I'm just copying and pasting it to you again. Cloud-based server or normal server? I would go for a cloud-based server. And uh, that's another one from Hina again. How much cost to make one and maintain will require and how much money to invest? Uh, if you really want to compare, go for namecheap.com and try from there, it becomes easy. And if you're, if you're uh, willing to, if you're more bent to go Shopify, it will not cost more. For a year, it should not cost you more than 10 to 12, 12K. But I would suggest that you take a help, initially take a help of, of consulting because sometimes people do mess out for their product listing or tracking or doing SEO on their part. If you're, make, uh, if you're doing uh, e-commerce, always keep three things in mind. First of all, uh, the, uh, from the service provider which you are taking because they play a very important role. And then who is designing it? How are you designing it? How complete the background or the uh, backend team? And then the SEO. So if you're not doing all these things together for your own website, you will miss out many of the opportunities coming for your conversions. That's it enough. Okay. Right. I think I'm not getting any questions anymore. I think shall we close it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks, uh, thanks a lot, Jyoti Sarup, and thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, our next webinar, I think uh, there's another question here. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, Vijay, I am going to unmute you so you can, you know, ask any questions that you have. Let me just unmute Vijay. Okay. Yes, hello, please. sir. Hi, Vijay. Hello, sir. What is the role of nine e commerce website if, I using, if I'm making my website from WordPress? Okay, that uh, that question would be. Uh, yes, I can answer that. Yeah, you, you can answer. Yeah. Okay. So we are basically a service provider. We uh, provide uh, you know services related to uh, starting up the store and developing a store, designing, and any customization that you are have or you are looking to have. Uh, basically, from the start of the from the start of the e-commerce store till the end of it, we provide all the services like designing, developing 
we even provide you know the back office uh, service executive that can help you um you know manage your back end you know so you don't have to look look at your store every day uh, just check how many orders you have received or uh, what the orders you have to deliver all that so we provide that services also so we are full like full uh, development company that provides all the e-commerce website services that uh, anybody would need any startup or you know if even if you are in a uh, you know need of like changing the platform from wordpress to shopify or any other platform that you are looking uh, to move on to we can help you with that we can uh, provide all the complete migration and you know uh, any other services that you you are looking for okay and thank you ma'am and what is the charge for that ma'am Uh, well it depends what is the requirement right so if you need to set up a brand new store there is a different uh, you know cost for this and if you already have a store and you need just improvements to it then we again we will evaluate what needs to be done and then based on that we can provide you a uh, more details so if you can just note down our email address and send you know more details uh, to this then that be great and we can provide you more information okay ma'am okay all right thank you I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, our next webinar is on, uh, you know, choosing the right, uh, you know, uh, platform. I must say, uh, from marketplace or having your own website. So the next webinar would be on that, and we will be back, you know, uh, in two weeks of time with that. So thanks a lot for being with us today, and thank you, Jyoti Swarup, once again for having us. Thank you. And thank I'll you. see you next time with our next webinar. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye. Sure. Thank you.